Okay, so what we're going to do now is go ahead and set up our saddle height uh, on the bike. And first thing you want to do is go ahead and make sure that you fully extend your post so it's topped out completely. Um, that's really important to have that fully topped out when we set up this position. Okay, so you can see here we've already marked this one. Uh, you're going to install your saddle. Go ahead and install it in the bike and you want to set it up to your fully extended uh, position or full extension position here and go ahead and, and mark it. We just use some blue tape. Okay, so with our cable installed uh, per the bicycle frame manufacturer's instructions, uh, we've got it routed through the frame here and uh, we've got our remote installed. So what we want to do is with the remote installed, we want to check the clearance here. You want to rotate the handlebar, make sure we've got good, good clearance and that nothing binds up. Uh, we don't want a lot of extra slack either hanging out where it can get hung up. Um, comes up and you can see here we've got uh, the cable housing here. We're going to go ahead and mark that with just a little piece of blue tape. You can use a paint marker, whatever you want to do. But you want to go ahead and mark that here. Next we're going to go ahead and loosen and take the remote loose from the handlebar. And then we're just going to go ahead and feed that housing back. Now we're going to take from the mark and measure out that length. So you can see there, this was where it was to the top of the frame. We line that mark up and this is our mark. And we'll go ahead and mark that spot there. That's where we want to cut the housing. Okay, so with our mark here, we'll go ahead and use a pair of good quality cable cutters. And we'll cut that housing. The next step is going to be to pull this ferrule off and reinstall the ferrule on your housing. Okay, so now with your anchor installed and everything cut to appropriate length, we'll go ahead and install the cable coupler into the actuator. And if your post is equipped with a set screw, that's a 1.5 mil. You want to go ahead and turn that a few turns so it engages. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and feed the housing in and while you do that you want to pull the excess housing out. You don't want that housing to wad up inside the frame. So as you're pushing it you should be sliding this housing out proportionately. So it's coming out of the frame and out of your tube here. Okay, We'll go to the mark we set up earlier for your full extension. Make sure your seat is centered up and then with your torque wrench Go ahead and set that binder bolt torque to five newton meters. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and route the cable. Uh, give it one last check before you clamp the remote back onto the handlebar. Line it up and just make sure that you have enough cable and that nothing is binding up before you go ahead and mount that, that remote.